KICILP 105.3 FM is Iowa City's nonprofit local radio station. We rely on listener support, and you can help us continue to air great programming like Democracy Now!, Great Taste, Green Room IC, The Situation Room, and This Way Out by making a one-time donation or setting up a recurring donation at our website, KICIRadio.org. Just click on the Donate button and become part of the team. KICILP, low power, high impact. On this Green Room IC episode, Beverly Mead welcomed people from Iowa City Community Theater to discuss High Fidelity, the musical. Joining Beverly in the virtual Green Room IC was William Asmus, Ethan Glenn, Jacob Ruhutsky, and Greg Tucker. This interview was recorded using Zoom on October 16th, 2023. This one kind of showed up on a Spotify, like recommended thing and honestly i didn't uh click on it for a while because i didn't actually really like the movie but then one day uh i just needed something to listen to and so i turned it on and i just kind of fell in love with the music and the story just kind of clicked for me in that time so I, I came at the show because I happen to actually like the movie quite a bit because it's very much a blueprint of what not to do as a guy. Why am I feeling so good? Why am I feeling so high? Like I could reach for the sky and nothing's gonna bring me down. Hi, and welcome to The Green Room I See on KICILP Radio, 105.3 FM in Iowa City. I'm Beverly Mead, your host. This program is KICI Radio's way of showcasing the entertainment industry in the Iowa City area by bringing local actors, comedians, singers, and organizations to your attention. Lend an ear and find out what Iowa City has to offer. My guests Today are William Asmus, director of Iowa City Community Theater's upcoming production of High Fidelity, the musical, and cast members Greg Tucker, Ethan Glenn, and Jacob Ruhutsky, who play Rob, Barry, and Dick, respectively. Welcome. Thank you. Our audience always likes to know who's behind the mic, so won't you each please tell us a bit about yourselves, such as where you come from, how long you've been involved with ICCT, whether you studied theater in college, et cetera. Will, let's start with you. Hello, uh, Beverly, and thank you for having us on. Um, my pleasure. My name, my name is William Asmus, and I have been doing theater for many, many, many years, and it's <laughs> a bit embarrassing <laughs> to say how long, but uh, yeah. Um, I went to the University of Iowa. Um, before that, I did theater in high school and various other places. Um, and I have my uh, Bachelor of Arts in uh, theater. Um, I became involved in Iowa City Community Theater um, a few years ago when I directed uh, Mrs. Bob Pratchett's Wild Christmas Binge. That was um, a fun one. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I have been working with local uh, theater uh, ever since, and I always love working with ICCT. Very good. Jacob, let's talk to you for a minute. Hello, uh, thank you for having us on. My name is Jacob Rohusky. I was, uh, I went to college at the University of St. Ambrose in Davenport. I've uh mostly done community theater as like a volunteer activity. I did some theater in college and a little bit in high school. And I um, uh, I went on a little bit of a hiatus for about eight years. And now I've been back at my, my production before this was uh, at, th at Theater Cedar Rapids. We did Meet Me in St. Louis. And this is my second musical in so many years. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I'm happy to be back on. Very good. All right. All right. Greg, let's talk to you. Hi, um, thank you again for having us on. 
Um, I have been involved with Iowa City Community Theater for a good number of years. Um, I think 2004 or five was my first production here. Uh, Very good. And I did two shows uh, that year. And then like Jacob, I took a gigantic break and uh, re-entered the theater field um, maybe five years ago or so. And have just found that this theater space is the most inviting to me. So I've decided to focus on it pretty much. <laughs> we love that. Thank you very much, Greg. And last, but obviously not least, Ethan, could you tell us about yourself, please? Uh, I'm originally from Des Moines. I grew up in Des Moines, and then I went to study theater performance at UNI. So I'm fresh to the Iowa City theater scene. I moved down here about six months ago. Um, so I'm pretty new to the area. This is uh, the second production I've been involved with. I was previously involved in Rent. Uh, so I'm really excited to step up and take on a bigger role this time. Sounds good. Well, for those of our audience who are not familiar with High Fidelity, could you please give us a summary? Yes, uh, High Fidelity is a musical that is based on the book. And uh, the um, the 2001 movie with uh, uh, John Cusack and Jack Black. Um, it is about a man who his girlfriend breaks up with him, and then uh, he goes and he finds his ex girlfriends. Um, and kind of like gets to know them again to try to figure out like what went wrong with all of it. Um, he also works at a record store, hence high fidelity. Gotcha. All right. Very good. Well, what brought you to this musical and made you want to direct it? I just think that it's a very fun show. Um, I uh, kind of like get into like weird musicals. I kind of seek them out. Um, this <laughs> one kind of showed up on a Spotify like recommended thing. And honestly, I didn't uh, click on it for a while because I didn't actually really like the movie. But then one day uh, I just needed something to listen to. And so I turned it on and I just kind of fell in love with the music and the story just kind of clicked for me in that time. Very good. All right. All righty. Well, let's see here. We have, how many people are in the cast? Looks like a big one from the face, from the website on Iowa City Community Theater. Is it 16 now? Wow, that is a big cast. Well, that's a question mark. <laughs> it's actually closer to 20. I can never remember the exact number, but it's right around 20 or 22. We've Very few, good. We had one or two drop for personal reasons, and then we had a few join up. So, yeah, it's a nice cast, and it's a wonderful cast to work with. Very good. Very good. Well, we have three of the cast members here with us today. Could you each please remind us who you play and tell us a little bit about your characters? Let's start with you, um, Greg. Hi, I'm Greg. I play Rob. I am supposed to be likable, but I'm really not a likable character. And I <laughs> have to be the main character. Um, you know, and... Uh, it's so I, I came at the show because I happen to actually like the movie quite a bit because it's very much a blueprint of what not to do as, as a guy. And, uh, <laughs> and so it's fun playing this character and just trying to find ways to forgive him because you have to. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Ethan, what about your character? Uh, yeah, my name is Ethan Glenn. I play Barry. Um, he's a very crass and sarcastic individual with some hot takes and opinions. He's very strong and stubborn, uh, but he loves his music and he's not afraid to defend that. All right, great. Uh, Jacob, how about you? 
Well, my character, I play, I play Dick. He's more of the uh, socially awkward uh, introvert that works at a uh, Rob's record store called Championship Vinyl. He's very shy around numerous people, especially girls. And then he ends up uh, meeting one of them and slowly breaks out of his shell as compared to like Ethan's character. Ethan's more of an extrovert, but mine's an introvert. And uh, yeah, Ethan doesn't have much of uh, Ethan's character as uh, um, Barry doesn't have much of a filter compared to uh, Dick, who's a lot more controlled, very nervous, but then he kind of like breaks out, has more builds, builds confidence, has more uh, belief in himself as a person. Okay, very good. Well, Will, who designed your set? Actually, I designed my set. Um, I worked very closely with uh, several of the regular builders. Um, but yeah, I had a I had a pretty good idea what I wanted from this, and so I just decided to go ahead and uh, design my own. Very good. Well, now we know that this is a musical. Who are your musical director and choreographer? So our music director is Wes Habley, um, who has done several shows in the community, and then our choreographer is Daisy Liu, who. Uh, just kind of stepped up um, and it's got some really amazing uh, choreography going on there. Very good. I can't wait to see it. Who is your costumer? Um, Marty Reichert has been uh, doing a lot of the costuming um, and the cast has really helped out a lot as well. Very good. All right. Where is the show being produced? So the show is being produced at uh, ICCT Space out at the Johnson County Fairgrounds. The barn is not gone yet. We've still got another okay. year there. Very good. Well, now for those who are like me, it is important to know, is, it, is the ICCT facility handicap accessible? It is absolutely handicap accessible. Um, uh, we can set up as many handicap seats as necessary. Um, all of the seating is movable. Um, so yeah, if you need any assistance, uh, just go ahead and contact ICCT. Very good. Uh, what are the run dates, including curtain times for each performance? The run dates are um, October 20th through 22nd and 27th through 29th. The Friday and Saturday shows are at 7.30 and our Sunday matinees begin at 2. Very good. I'm going to switch over to Mer uh, Greg for this question. How would you rate this show if you need to with regard to how appropriate it would be for younger viewers? Um, I would advise that uh, any parents who are asking themselves that question attend it first because it's worth going to twice. Um, Obviously. You know, and, and, you know, that's it's a difficult thing to to advise people on how to parent their kids and my parents would not have found anything terribly objectionable about this but I know many others would so okay. you know there's objectionable language there are some scenarios that are suggestive uh, there are some subject matters that may be sensitive to some people so you know it's it's an adult show but you know it, it's that's their call and I would just say again if you have that question see it yourself first and make the call <laughs> Very good. And Jacob, I'm going to ask this question for you. Sometimes people need to plan on babysitters, dinner reservations, and or rides to and from the theater so that they may plan appropriately about how long does this performance last? How long the performance lasts? Is that generally your question? Yes. I would say it's roughly two hours maybe two and a half with it's intermission um and then you also asked about like reservations uh what else did you ask about like runtime and uh okay 
How would someone go about purchasing tickets? Well, uh, you may contact uh, Iowa City uh, Theater, <clears throat> sorry, Iowa City Community Theater directly. Um, advise to do it online if you're able. That's just the most streamlined way to do it is to reserve your tickets online. Then everybody has it in hand and you're good to go. Very good. Again, High Fidelity the Musical is being produced at Iowa City Community Theater at the Johnson County 4-H Fairgrounds on Fridays and Saturdays, October 20th, 21st, 27th, and 28th at 7.30 p.m. and on Sundays, October 22nd and 29th at 2 o'clock p.m. Well, it's time to draw the curtain on this episode. Thank you all for being here today. This has been a lot of fun. I hope we get to do it again someday. Thank you. And thank you, audience, for listening. And please join us next time on The Green Room IC. If you know of anybody or any organization you would like to have showcased on The Green Room IC, contact us. Our email address is greenroomic at kiciradio.org. Or you can contact me directly at bev at kiciradio.org. I've got my daily crossword and there's coffee in the pot. I got cable and a girlfriend who is pissed off but she's hot. I've got records that it's taken me a lifetime to amass And I play them on a system that will kick your system's ass And if my life's not perfect, if I'm anxious, bored, or sad Well, today may be less with whole chunks of not so bad And I wouldn't change a thing about it, no I wouldn't want to change a thing it's unreliable. These are rocks on which to cling. Nothing's great and nothing's new. Nothing has its worth. Meet the real go getter with the thrift store sweater and the last real record store owner. The Green Room I See is an original production of KICI Radio in Iowa City. The host for this episode is Beverly Mead, with production by Craig Jarvie. I get by relying on the freaks who can't survive Without their Japanese import or their Zappa 45 They're really kind of sad how I'd be making fun of them If it were it for the fact I'm really one of them Yes, if you're into vinyl, we've got everything essential A step into my mecca is the last real record store on earth. Ever since I lost control, that's Dick, he works for me. It's a Hiroshima of the small. He's listened to every record in this store ever since we've been apart. Twice. It's a Hiroshima of my heart. Hiroshima. I'll die alone.